So I'm Tim Brand, I'm from Sydney, um, I'm 23 years old, oh, 22, about to turn 23. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been in the Kookaburras for a couple of years, so I debuted in 2018, so yeah, that's me. I'm Tom Craig, um, also from Sydney, grew up down the road from Tim, um, I'm 25, turning 26, um, and this is another Tim. Yeah, I'm Tim Howard, 25, recently turned 25. Uh, I'm from Brisbane and I debuted in 2017. I'm Lachlan Sharp, um, originally from Lithgow, New South Wales. I uh, grew up playing with Tim Brand and Tom Craig at Ride Hunters Hill Hockey Club in Sydney. Um, I'm 24 and I debuted in 2018. So I moved over to Perth, end of 2014. Um, I've been through a couple of housemates, um, struggled to find something to stick, but um, found these boys. As Locke said, he grew up um, playing for Ride. Tim grew up playing for Ride. I grew up playing with Tim in junior Australian stuff. So um, yeah, when the lads moved over, I was looking for a housemate. My brother had moved out. Um, Matthew Swan had moved out. He was a, he's a Olympian as well. And uh, I had three vacant, vacant spots in the house. Um, and two of them were filled quickly. And then Timo was a ringing a bit later. Yeah, I was ringing a bit later. I think probably came about from uh, spending a month together in India at the World Cup in 2018. I think the idea floated and we were, we're all scheming. We were scheming, yeah. I think we were all living pretty, uh, pretty far out from the beach and it sort of came about that we wanted to live a bit closer to the beach and, and find a bigger house and four blokes can, I guess, pick a pretty good house rent-wise, like splitting up rent, so. Yeah, like it's kind of happening how it happens. So. We've all got different roles, I think. <laughs> you know, there's a few, there's a few chefs in the household. Um, a few clean guys who like to keep the house tidy. Um, just a different dynamic that we all, we all have different roles and it just works like that. Yins and yangs. Who were the chefs? <laughs> Tim and Tom. Over here, probably split the main like, chefs. Split my couches. <laughs> Cleaners on this side, cooks uh, on that side, don't out there. So. Uh, Timo? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> yeah, not... <laughs> oh, Timo's cool. Pretty clean. Timo's clean. Cool. Yeah, Timo's clean. Cool. Uh, I don't know, maybe general tidiness. Groundskeeper. Sure. Yeah, definitely the groundskeeper. Groundskeeper, exterminator. <laughs> that a few pest issues. <laughs> Ongoing. Yeah, maybe some sock skills. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bit of juggling. These guys were hopeless at the start. <laughs> um, yeah, we started juggling oh, maybe a year ago and they couldn't, probably kept it up like three times. But now I think our record is, I don't know, it was like 400 or something between the four of us. So. Does that happen in the lounge room or out the back? No, nah, just out the back. We kill the grass out the front. We were talking about this the other day actually, um, someone wanted to interview one of us and Tim elected himself as the funniest but the problem with that is that his humour is more of like a slow burn, you don't really appreciate it. How long does this go for? Will it start to come out in a while? <laughs> well, it's obviously not this <laughs> I don't know, I reckon we can't, we probably enjoy each other's company the most, I reckon like whatever we're doing, whether it's playing cards in the house, or we've had a few fads, like playing cards in the house, going fishing, playing cricket out the back, juggling, uh, golf's probably been a constant one for all of us we've played over the last four or five years. Um, I know that's definitely one for me, is like just just the company, it's pretty pretty amazing and it's awesome to, to live with three other guys that have common habits and, and common goals. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty awesome uh, to have four guys who have lived together for a few years now, not just come together lately, but um, lived together for a few years. Um, it's been pretty special to spend those moments with these guys, share it with those guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's definitely better, like, I mean, if one of us didn't get in, it would have been a bit awkward in the house. So, all of us getting that phone call and email at the same time, um, that was pretty special. Yeah, that's cool.
It was cool when we moved in, like, we kind of set our sights on on winning gold in Tokyo, so we're, we're halfway there. Uh, I guess, like, probably a benefit for us is, um, like, around training and, and matches and things like that, like, on the way home or on the way there, like, we can always talk about hockey pretty comfortably with each other, uh, whether it's debriefing or on the way to hockey, so I guess we've, we've well practiced at that. Um, I don't know, I guess make the most of what, what's happened in the last 12 months with social media and, and things like that, like we can, you know, you're only a phone call away from anyone, so. Yeah. I think we're um, pretty used to being away from family, like it's, it's pretty hard. None of us are from Perth, but that's where we're required to be to, to play for Australia, and I think what you were saying about the common habits, like it's kind of good, like we have a bit of a family in Perth, we do the same thing, we look out for each other. Um, so the Olympics is going to be no different, away from family, kind of we got 16, 19 guys to, to lean on, but um, yeah, I do wish the, that we could see our families after the game and that sort of thing, that's always pretty special, but we know they're going to be back rooting for us on, on Channel 7.